Um, we're going to use weights for like a couple of things. Most of it is without weights. And make sure you get a good stretch. So, this, I like, as tired as I am, I'm so excited to get sweaty, take a shower, and then like just relax for a little bit. Not put pressure on myself to nap if I can't do it, you know? Okay. All right, let's do this. The first exercise is our walking squats. So we're just gonna be going side to side. One, two, up, and then one, two, up. And if you can't jump because you're in an apartment, just go up to your toes. And remember, stay nice and low. Weight is in the back on my heels. Warming up my legs. Oh, I think I forgot to say 2040s, but that's like what we always do. Good job, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, relax. 20 seconds. Okay, next, warm up our core. We'll do our plank. forearms, butt is down, belly button's in, shoulder blades are rolled back. And just breathe. shake like a crazy like a leaf oh, my phone looks crooked so we're gonna be on our back legs 90 degrees and we can start with our hands up towards the ceiling I'm gonna lower my right hand and my left leg and I'm gonna reach hold for three keep that tailbone touching the mat and then switch to the other side reach with that arm extend that arm and the leg and then keep the tailbone touching and then we're reaching on the exhale so on the exhale the belly button comes in good job okay relax good that is so good for your core um so we're gonna be in a tabletop position and we are going to do a double pulse. Okay, so we'll go in two, one. So I'm gonna just donkey kick my, my um, leg up straight up and then back to neutral. So the key here is don't let that knee flare out. Keep that knee facing the wall behind you and we're gonna try, pretend that we're reaching our heel towards the ceiling. And we're keeping um, our body nice and square with the ground, right? Like we're at a table, arms are like tree trunks. Good job, guys. And that's time. Okay, so you can rest that leg and then we'll do the other leg. Five, four, three, two, one. So my knee is right under my hip. I'm reaching this leg back up and I'm keeping my knee facing the wall behind me. And I'm doing a, a double pulse. So we kick up and then we kick up even harder. Reach, reach again. And then back down to neutral. If 
if one side feels different than the other, that's totally normal. It's just because we're right-handed or we're left-handed. And time. Okay. Now we can grab our 20s. If you have them, if you don't, you can use 15s or 10s. And we're just gonna do um, forward lunges. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna start with one leg, so I'm gonna lunge this right leg forward, and then come back to the top. And I'm doing just my right leg, just right, and then we'll do the left side. So my back is nice and tall, leaning slightly forward. leg. Ten. Two. One. And go. So left leg. Back to neutral. seconds. Five, three, two, and relax. All right, we can put these weights away. Next, we're going to be up in a plank, up on our hands. And we're going to do shoulder taps. Three, two, one, go. So up here, my legs are a little bit wider than usual. My butt is down and I'm trying to keep my body as still as possible. Slow, controlled movement, keeping my hands right under my shoulders. Slight bend in my elbows, 10 seconds. Good job guys. Two, one, relax. Okay. Next we're doing a squat with our hands behind our head, shoulder uh, elbows nice and wide. And then at the top we'll bring opposite knee to elbow. Three, two, one. Okay. So you squat, knee to elbow. And you can pick up the pace as you get comfortable with the motion. Really drive that knee up to meet the elbow. We just have one more move after this and then we're done. time. Perfect. Grab a 10 pound weight. We're going to do our tricep. And then we're done. So I'll be on my knees. Um, and I'm just going to have my arms be at 90 degrees behind my head. And we can go right now. And then straight up to the ceiling. Slow control movement. I feel like this workout like picked up like really nicely and then slowed down really nicely. 
10 seconds. Hopefully you feel it in your tries. Five, three, and relax. Okay. I would never preach to like not take a rest day if you need it. Like if I didn't feel like working out, I would, would have just laid in bed or like read or wrote written in my journal. But I'm literally so happy that I did this workout because I feel so much better than I did 10 minutes ago. Mentally, whatever was like wrapping up my brain had to go to the side for 10 minutes while I did this workout, which is a great way to look at working out. Like a lot of people don't like working out because of like the physical pain. First of all, I'm just strengthening and toning. I'm not trying to look like I'm going to an MMA fight because I'm not. I'm not an Olympic athlete. I was before I was on the Olympic soccer team. I know how hard you have to train to achieve the physique of the influencers who we follow on TikTok and YouTube and stuff. And they are, it is so admirable. I know how much work that takes, which is why I think that like normalizing whatever your body type is, where it is right now and glorifying that and celebrating it is so important because we really shouldn't, as a new mom, I don't have the time to be a full-time athlete. A lot of new moms are working. We don't have time to put morning and night sessions into the gym and we don't have access to all the foods and the protein. Like, So embrace you, embrace where you are. Celebrate your movement and what your lifestyle, how your lifestyle is represented. I am proud of my body because it represents my lifestyle, which is I do my best to take care of myself given my circumstances and I eat whatever the F I want, which, I'm just, which is awesome. And I'm very fortunate and virtuous that I get to do that. Like I literally have like frosted flakes with marshmallows in them. So like eating a bowl of straight, I might as well just pour sugar into a bowl, but I will eat it if I want because life is about balance. I don't, you know, I eat, I do that and I also eat spinach and broccoli and shit. So whatever, I'm not like a maniac. I used to be, I've seen both ends of the coin and I, I can say genuinely and sincerely, I love my body now after having gone through pregnancy and like how different it is now and everything more than I ever have in my life. Like genuinely think that I'm sexier than I ever have been. So there's that is my little speech for the day that no one asked for. Okay. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you guys week nine.